Welcome to Lounge TV. We're doing another special edition of Chilling and Grilling. I like that intro a little bit better, Tom. What do you like? Yeah. Okay. We're we got a Hello Fresh meal, and this is the first time that we're we're making this dish. But I want to I want to show how you can make it without going through Hello Fresh. So this is potato wedges and a special house sauce for burgers. What you're gonna need here, guys, is you're gonna need some potatoes. Now in here, this is how many they gave us for four people. I thought they'd be bigger potatoes, but they're small. There's some bigger ones in there, but you're gonna cut them up anyway into wedges, so um, anything will work. Um, just enough for four people or whatever. So you're gonna need some garlic powder, salt and pepper, two onions, two tomatoes, ketchup, some Dijon mustard, sour cream, some white vinegar and cheddar, shredded cheddar cheese. And of course, this is about one pound, one, 1 1.3 pounds of, uh, of, of uh, beef. And we- About 20 ounces. Yeah, and they also give you potato rolls. And that's, so that's what we're gonna be using. And we're gonna toast these up to a little bit um, in our pan. But uh, the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 425. And we wanna start our potato wedges first. First thing you're going to want to do is clean your potatoes first of all. Doesn't matter if you get them from a low fresh or not, you should wash them off, which I did. So I'm going to cut these in about half inch wedges. So on these, it's pretty easy. Oh, don't forget guys, in case I didn't mention it, which I think I did, preheat your oven at 425. Okay, so on these, it's basically that for these. I'm going to put them in a bowl. Cut them in half? Yeah, cut them, them in half. half. And if they're big like this, then, you know, just cut them like that. But you want them about a half inch size, right? Look at this little tiny guy. He's definitely like a, a quarter guy right here. And then I'm gonna constantly do this, and I'll show you the next step. So I have them all cut up. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drizzle a little olive oil like that. I'm going to kind of mix them up a little bit and get that oil all over everything. You know guys, olive oil is one of those... Did you see that thing jump out? Uh, I also got a cookie sheet out and I put um, some aluminum foil there and I sprayed it with some of uh, our olive oil spray. Olive oil is one of those things that are, is just... It's good for everything, you know what I mean? Now we're, we have about a tablespoon and a half of garlic powder. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to mix that all up in here too. Try to get that garlic powder all over them all in there. Um, I'm also going to, let me get a paper towel here because I got to put some salt and some pepper on here too. So, you know how, you know how potatoes are, they, they like salt and they like their friend Pepper. I love the smell of garlic. And then you do. You know who doesn't? Who? Vampires. Well, that's good. One garlic powder, two garlic, oh, I'm sorry. All right, there you go. You mix that all up nice and good, and then you're going to put them on this on this cookie sheet like this. There's a lot of potatoes here, guys. Gotta so try and spread them out. Try to spread them out. You don't want any of these on top of the other. If they're getting frisky. Move them, move them aside, like so. That's a lot of potatoes. That's a lot of potatoes. I love potatoes. You like potatoes, Tom? I like potatoes. So what you want to do now is you want to pop them in your, let me wash my hands because I got oil all over. You want to pop these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes on the top rack. Or until brown and crisp. Or until brown and crisp, depending on your stove. Everybody's stove goes a little bit different. So let me throw these in the oven now. Okay, timer. Oh, 
I'm gonna put it in for 20 and then I check them and then go from there. Always go like five minutes under, then you can go back and check. So in the meantime, we'll go to the next step. So you wanna finally dice your onion. Now I only did so much because I only wanna put two tablespoons in here, guys. So there's two tablespoons of minced onion in there, I have, or diced onion. I have in here about 10 teaspoons of white vinegar, white distilled vinegar. So I'm gonna put that in my onion. And then I am going to put two teaspoons of sugar. Uh, sugar, do, 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 do. Does anybody know that song? You know that song, Tom? Hardly. Okay, and then a pinch of salt. In my case, I'm just gonna go like that. And then I'm gonna mix that up in there. And let the fruit flies have a, fle a field day. No, I'm gonna put some handy wrap over that, guys, because I told you guys before, there's uh, fruit flies all over the place here. So I'll put the candy wrap over that, and I'll probably just set it in the fridge now so the fruit flies don't go all over it. And we'll go to the next step. Which is the sauce? No, I have to finish dicing the onions. Yeah, we have to finish dicing the onions and then the sauce. And then I have to slice tomatoes. And then I'll go to the sauce. In a frying pan on your stove, what you want to do is take the remaining of the onion, get a little olive oil in there going, Get it nice and heat it up. Put your, put your onion in there. Yeah, it looks like a lot of onion. It is a lot of onion. But it will it will cook down. I'm gonna spread that out a little bit in there. Onions have a lot of water in there. Take a little salt and pepper. A little seasoning. There we go. And cook them up until they're nice and Tender and brown. We'll let them go for a while, guys. And in the meantime, while Tom's gonna to be doing this off camera, I will be cutting up the tomatoes. Just And all the tomatoes are is you're just cutting slices for your for your uh, hamburgers. That's like you it. would imagine a sliced tomato would be on yes, a hamburger. Yes, exactly. Try not to get onions all over the place like I did, okay? And finally, we get to the sauce. Hey, you've been waiting for this one, haven't you? Oh, the potato wedges. Are you kidding me? All right, so now what we want to do, guys, is just check these things, right? Because we don't know if that, that was enough time. And obviously it wasn't. So we're going to put it in for another five minutes. So it says 20 to 25. And then it might even be longer than that. It might be another five minutes. Yep. Okay guys, so what, what we're going to use here is we have two teaspoons of sugar. We have a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We have, uh, I wish I could remember, I believe this is four tablespoons of ketchup. I will, Tom, you are going to put the recipe up, right? I can put the ingredients and stuff in. Okay, we have two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. Let me, go, let me check this to make sure. Uh, do, 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 do. We have four teaspoons of Dijon mustard. We have four tablespoons of ketchup, and we have, uh, let's see, sour cream, we have four tablespoons. Four tablespoons, four tablespoons. What did I say, four, four te teaspoons? Four teaspoons, a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of sugar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start mixing all this stuff together. This is our special sauce. This is like, I don't have any idea what this tastes like quite yet. But we will find out in a second here. Yep. And I believe also we're going to be adding those pickled onions into this too at some point. That is correct. Just must, mustard and ketchup together is the, you know, that's like McDonald's. You know? Yep. And let me add the sour cream. Tom's trying, Tom's multitasking right now, guys. He is stirring the onions and and holding the camera. A little crooked, but I think. Well, it's either that or burnt onions. I told you to turn the flame down. I did, it's down on medium. Yeah, well, I mean, when I say turn it down, I mean like low. But that's okay, Tom. When you say turn it down, you gotta specify. I hear turn it down, it's like, okay, probably down on medium. Can't just let me extrapolate. That's the special sauce, guys. I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, so again, so that no uh, fruit flies land in it, and then I can get back to this other 
madhouse that's going on right now. Soon enough we'll get to the burgers. Yep. Okay guys, these, these are done now, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these out, put these in a bowl. Now, if we're gonna be growing ours, um, our burgers on the, on the grill outside. It's because it's nice weather and we like the taste of grilled burgers. Yep. So, uh, but if you weren't, if you weren't, if you're if you're not going to grill them outside, what you guys can do is, oh, check the potatoes. You can actually cook your burgers right in there. Put a little bit more oil in there. Cook your burgers right in there. It's still got that onion flavor in there. Just put a little bit more oil in there, and you can cook them there. Yep. You gotta check the potatoes. Oh. I didn't know you were waiting for me to check. Oh, well, the thing went off. You'd think that we check. All right, I'm going to give it about five more minutes. They're starting to turn. Some of them are starting to turn brown. But I'm going to give it five more minutes. It'll be brown and crisp. Yes. And delicious. I love potatoes. And then we can get to our burgers, I believe. Just kidding. We got to toast the rolls. Yeah, forgot to toast the rolls, guys. Since this pan has already got a little bit of oil in there, I'm just going to put some of my rolls in here and toast them up. A nice oil and onion flavor. Yep. Don't burn them. You don't like the, nothing tastes good burn. So we're just going to toast, toast them up a little bit, get them ready on the plate, and then we will get to the burgers. Finally. It really doesn't take that long. It only takes long. And it's really not going to be that long of a video, is it, Tom? Six, I don't know. Six hours? Maybe seven. Okay. I mean, some people like burnt marshmallows. I used to when I was a kid. I don't like the taste of marshmallows now that I'm an adult. That's understandable. They're, They're too sweet. They are literally puffed up sugar. Mm -hmm. well, I just don't care for them. Understandable. You got a problem with that? I don't like the way you're looking at me, Tom. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't like them, okay? Ouch. Potatoes. Oh, again. Again with the potatoes! Are you done yet? Uh, almost. Uh. Maybe about three more minutes. In the meantime, guys, I've been toasting my buns here, and as you can see, I got a little toast. Don't say on. that. Well, see, not burnt, but hot. Okay, so they're all ready. I'm gonna give this about four more minutes. Now we can get to the burgers. Yay! Burger time. So in the bowl of your beef, you need to season this beef. So I'm gonna put quite a bit, I'm gonna be generous with some pepper. And I'm gonna be generous with some salt. Not too generous, but generous. And then I'm gonna just kinda of mix that all up in here, guys. Um, There we go. Get them hands in there and get all beefy. It looks like brains, don't it, Tom? Mm, a little bit, I guess. How do you know what I don't know, I've never seen a brain. I was going to say, how do you know what brains look like? Actually, all the pictures that I've seen of brains are all like, like pale. Okay, so that's a big of meatball right there. So what we're going to do is now I'm going to try to divide this in four, right? One, two, three, four. It's a little big there, so we'll put some over here. It's a little small there, so we'll take a little bit from there. This guy, yeah, that's pretty close. It's pretty close. All right, so now I'm gonna make my patties. Hey, all right. All right, now you want to make these a little bit bigger than your roll, right? My wife is really good at cooking burgers too because she, she does this thing with ice cubes. She puts an ice cube on it. So I'm, I'm eyeing my, my roll up over there and so there we go. Make four of them like that. And then what we're going to do after this is probably the timer will go off for the uh, for the uh, wedges, is. potato again. wedges again. Yeah, again. So, I'm gonna get all these set up like this. It turns out they cook slower than we thought. Yeah. 
and then I am going to uh, fire up my grill, cook these, because everything else is ready, except for the burgers right now, you know? It's really just cook the burgers and then assemble yeah. everything. Yeah. Better hurry up though. Only got 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Five seconds. You can't wash your hands properly in one second. Oh, I ran out of time. Okay, so these should be done now. They better be. And yeah, that looks good right there. So yep. what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to just turn the oven off. Beep. Just turn it off and. Because this way it'll keep them warm while we're going to the next step, which is going to be to grill our burgers up. Don't rush me, Tom. We got burgers. We got burgers. I'll put them on my grill here. Without getting any foil on them. That'd be nice. Yeah, uh, yeah that would be nice, wouldn't it? They like to stick to my spatula. There we go. All right, we're gonna get them going, guys. I'm gonna take this foil off, get some new foil on there for when they're done so I can take them back in the house. Um, I wanna put these on medium to high right now. Keep an eye on them. Don't let them flames really be burning the, the outside of them. I like my burger not completely well done. I like it a little tiny bit of pink in the inside. I don't know what you like, Tom, but- uh, Pretty much know. the same. Yeah, so I'm, that's what I'm pretty sure that most people like so now some people actually do like them really well done yeah my uncle used to cook them like little hockey pucks i mean like they, they would get as hard as a rock and be all tiny matter of fact they'd be this big at the beginning they they'd wind up being like this big sure. yeah they were terrible all right i'm gonna go get that stuff and then we'll show you when we're about done yep you heard him guys you gotta keep an eye on this yeah keep an eye on it Seriously, Tom, you gonna just keep the camera the whole time? You said keep an eye on it. I was just kidding. Well, too bad, we're keeping an eye on it. So, uh, how are you all doing out there? Let me know in the comments how y'all are doing. You know, how's your day been? How's your week? Fall just started. You know, it still feels a little summery. Still warm enough out for burgers. Are you serious? You said keep an eye on it. Let's, let's keep their eye on it though, not yours. Well, yeah, you told them to keep their eye on it. You didn't tell me to keep my eye on it. Oh my goodness. I was anyway, just guys, for the ride. In, in case you're wondering, because you know, a lot of people heard my wife in the background all the time. Well, I'll try to talk over the noise outside. <laughs> um, she went back. She's got a really big job that she had to go back to right now. Um, important person. Um, so that's why she's not home hardly at all anymore. It's not Tom. He didn't make her mad and or me so stop thinking about that stuff anyway so we're gonna let these guys go for a while I only like to flip burgers one time so I wait until a certain time flip it and then cook the other side that's it flip you it don't good. need to be keep flipping them back and forth should be one flip just one flip don't double flip it one flip now flip it into flip shape it good what's a what's more lyrics Tom you don't know. Now flip it. Flip it good. Well, that's the one part. Flip it. Into shape. Go forward. Something. It. It's not. No, that, that's further ahead. Oh. Don't forget, guys, we got to put cheese on top of these bad boys, too, before they're finished completely. See, I, I got focused on like, the flip part of it. Yeah, we lost him. He's going to be thinking about this for the rest of the day. So, guys. Flip it up. I'll show you the next step when we get to it. All right, so now I'm going to put my cheddar cheese on here, guys. Put a mound on it. They shrunk a lot. Considerably. Come, yeah. Put a mound of it on there. 
Those two in the back are done. These two in the, in the front are not all the way done. I'm gonna close my lid. And we checked with the meter thermometer. I'm gonna turn, yes, in case you guys don't have one, I have my trusty little Thermo Pro here. Of course, I don't have it in any meat, so it's not like, beef should be around 160 in the middle to be completely done. We're just checking to make sure that Tom don't get sick. Um, this is a nice, Because I mean, I'm the only one susceptible to disease. It, it, let's see what Tom's temperature Stop. is. <laughs> so I'm gonna let that melt. By the time that gets done melting, the other one should be ready for cheese to be put on, because they were real close. I should have made them skinnier, I think, the, the patties. Maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. I should have made them like this big, and then they would have shrunk down to the perfect size. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. You know, like Smashburger does. That's what they do. Is it? Yeah, they, they, they make them, they smash them. That's why it's called Smashburgers. That makes sense. We're gonna do our final step here while the cheese is melting out there. This is your pickled onion mixture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain that right now, all the liquid out of here. I'm gonna use my hand. Get all that liquid out of there. And then... Hey, if you got any cuts on that part of your hand, you'll know very shortly. Ah, vinegar won't sting too much. Then mix, put that onion in there. Right in the sauce. And then mix that all up. Now Tom might might actually enjoy this, I think. There's a chance, I'll try it out. I'll try to get some kind of, some of that onion in there. There we go. Oh, that's yummy. Oh, that's delicious. You're gonna love this, Tom. I'll take your word for it. Yeah, so I'm gonna put that in, in the fridge real quick so I don't want any fruit flies flying in this. Oh, that is real, oh, I really like that. I'm telling you what, guys, that might be one of the best things I've tasted in a long time as far as toppings for a burger. Oh, speaking, speaking of burgers. burgers. Oh yes, nice cheddar gooeyness. Our little tiny, I talk about hockey pucks, right? And what did I make? Hockey uh, pucks. The, the burgers are thicker than that. They're, they don't look like they're, you know, burnt. What I did guys is I turned my, I turned my grill off and left it and put the lid down to get that heat going in there and, and to melt the cheese, so without continuously cooking the burger yeah. further. So that way I didn't have to worry about it. I knew they weren't going to be burnt. I just didn't want all the cheese to melt off of the actual burger. And then we would have been cheeseless. A cheeseburger without cheese, it's just a hamburger. You are correct, Tom. Huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to take our, take our plate here with our little to toasted roll here. And uh, Tom, pick one. Uh -huh. Well, first of all, let me bring the other thing over here that we're going to need. Okay, and we're also going to need the tomatoes out of there and everything else, but yes. just pick um, one. I Eat. pick top right, which is... This one or that one? That one? Yeah, we'll go with that. Alright. So we'll put that down here, like so. Alright. Let me get the... Let me get all our stuff out of here, Tom. We need some tomatoes and our sauce. And then not... You know, don't forget, we also got to get our uh, potato wedges on there too. Right? True. Okay, so what you guys want to do here, get yourself a spoon for a special sauce. You want to take some of these nice onions here, these caramelized onions, put them. You like onions, right, Tom? Yeah. yeah. Put a nice, nice amount on there. You like tomatoes too, right? Uh huh. Okay, put a couple slices of tomato in there. Like so, and now we're gonna take this goodness, and we're just gonna we're gonna put that all over. Let it just drip down there, right? You gotta admit that's a good looking bird. And we're just gonna put that roll, just like that. And let me get you some potato wedges without burning my hand, of course.
See, that's what your foot's for. Unless you have bare feet. I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah. All right, let me try to figure out a spot where I can put this at right now. This is, this is what you run into when you're trying to do a lot of stuff at once and they all gets, it all gets done at the same time. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, let me move these tomatoes over there. I'll grab this. Put your potato wedges down here. And listen guys, after you put some potato wedges on there like so, take some of this special sauce and drill the lad around on there like so. Now that is a plate right there. And it is. Turn it though. Which way you want to turn? That way? Opposite. That way? Keep going. That way? A little bit more. That way? There we go. That looks really good. We could always put, oh yeah, you mean like have, yeah, you just put, take, take that top to the side a little bit there. All right, well, this is my plate. Well, that's right, I had you pick out the burger. But you know what, Tom, I have to taste it, so I might as well go in for this one, okay? Sure. Of course, I guess this is now is completely your burger. Oh my goodness. That topping is awesome, guys. I mean, wow. Wait a minute, I see what's going on here. What? You made me think that was gonna be my plate so that I would pick the best burger, and right. then you took it for yourself so that you would have the best burger. I figured out your dastardly plan. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yes, you did, because that's exactly what happened. You want an awesome burger, guys? That topping, I'll tell you what, Hello Fresh did us right this time, Tom. That's delicious. One of the top burgers I've ever had, especially toppings wise. Try this recipe out, guys. Tom's gonna put the recipe on the side and take a picture of it and put it in like you did last time, Tom. Yeah. Hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. What else is there? Is notification there bell. Notification bell, guys. And until next time, grab yourself something cold to drink, put your feet up and relax, I'll meet you at the lounge. Oh man, that is so good. You should get yourself some. Oh, I should? Mm-hmm. I see how it is.